What's cracking, Bunny Boilers? My name is Bunny Tears. Welcome to my breakdown of the new game mode Arms Race in Black Ops 2, located in the bonus playlist on the multiplayer. So, I wanted to break this down for you guys because it's not really a complicated game mode. However, there is a bit that needs to be talked about and some things that I feel this new game mode is bringing to Black Ops 2. So, I've brought you two gameplays, both kill streaks uh, or score streaks, whichever you prefer. The first one is a 15 kill streak on carrier and the second one is a 12 score streak on hijacks. Now, the reason I'm actually just bringing you kill streaks rather than full gameplays is because of the fact that this arms race is the exact same as team deathmatch. The only difference is that with this game mode, with arms race, you get 150 points towards your score streak for every kill that you get. Now that is actually a lot of points towards your score streak. So this means that when you're actually playing this game mode, score streaks do play a big part in how the game is played. People are getting score streaks more often, UAVs are more frequent, I mean all the score streaks are more frequent. You can see here the score streaks I'm running is Hunter Killer, Hellstorm Missile, and Lightning Strike. Now the reason that I'm bringing you these kill streaks is so you can kind of watch the gameplay and see how e how much easier it is to get those score streaks per kill compared to Team Deathmatch while you actually listen to my opinions on the game mode itself. So, my opinions on this game mode. I think it's a great idea. I do think it's a good idea because Black Ops 2 kind of nerfed the score streaks. I know, I know you might not think so because they nerfed and buffed the score streaks at the same time. So, they buffed them in the way that some of the score streaks are just stupid now. Like, I mean, I still maintain the sentry gun is just the most stupid score streak in the game because there's no perk you can have to be invisible to the sentry gun. That just makes no sense to me in my head. There should always be a perk that gets rid of a score streak. Always. Always a perk that gets rid of a score streak. That's why the Visa is so powerful. Because there is no perk you can have on which will hide you from the Visa. Now, is that good? Is that bad? I don't really know. It's it's good, I suppose, for the VSAT because it takes a lot of points to get it. However, it's bad for something like the Sentry Gun because they're reasonably easy to get. But that's kind of going off the point a little bit. But they were nerfed because everything, all of the score streaks, were put higher than in previous games. They, they were made harder to get. So, for example, the UAV in this game takes four kills, whereas in all of the previous games it only took three kills. Now, what this actually got me thinking about was the very early games, like Call of Duty 4 and World at War and things like that. Now, in those games, you do, you weren't able to pick kill streaks. They just had three base score streaks, which I think went three kills, five kills, seven kills. And it was, in Call of Duty 4, it was like UAV, airstrike, helicopter. And in World at War, I think it was UAV, uh, mortar strike, and dogs. So... I was always thinking, when playing games like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, it seems like the community in general has got a lot better at the game, because now I think about it, and I, I think it's pretty much the same if you think about it as well. If you think that in World at War, if you got 7 kills, you got dogs, that is extremely overpowered. I mean, anyone can basically get 7 kills in a row these days, whereas back in the day, I remember it being actually quite hard to get 7 kills in a row, whereas now it is very, very easy. So, they, I suppose they had to kind of nerf the kill streaks as we went along, which is why the game is still challenging to us. It's why you don't see as many, as many dogs as there should be. But at the same time, I was interested to find out how the game would work if the score streaks were easier to get. If it was more like the previous games where dogs weren't taking as much to get as they are at the moment. This is getting pretty complicated, but the, basically what I'm trying to say is I wanted to see what it would be like playing at the skill level that we're all playing now, but it being easier to get the score streaks. It ends up the game itself is very fun, but at the same time, there are a lot of people using score streaks. Too many people. It almost limits what you can use perk-wise because you have to have certain perks on or you're never going to win a game. If you don't have a perk on that's going to hide you from UAV, you are going to get destroyed every fucking game. Every game. Because UAV is so much more easy to get now and everyone seems to be running it that it just it just destroys you. It, the, the enemy basically has constant UAV, so does your team. So if you don't have the right perks on, you're gonna get destroyed. 
That, that's the simple fact of the matter. And all of these people who used to be getting swarms and things like that are now hitting up triple swarms and fucking triple veto warships. So this game is, is pretty complicated, but at the same time pretty simple. It's hard to explain. You need to try it out because it is a fun game mode, but you need to play it in a completely different way. You're not playing to get kills to win the game anymore. You're playing to get kills to stop the other players from getting score streaks so that you can get score streaks because whoever has the biggest score streaks in this game is going to be the winner. That's a simple fact of the matter. So it is a nice approach. I like the idea. I do like the game mode. It's probably not my favorite. I don't like TDM. I think they should actually bring it into other game modes. All right, then, guys, that was my breakdown of the new game mode on Black Ops 2, Arms Race. Now, definitely try it out. It is a lot of fun and very different. But if you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button below. It helps me out hugely. You can also subscribe to become one of the Bunny Boilers to stay up to date on my future videos. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, etc., etc. Links in the description. Check out the Network Express. They're fucking crazy. But apart from that, Bunny out!